Dear students and respected parents, Mother's Blessing Academy feels honored to welcome you all the viewers who are watching this video. This video presentation has been made with a basic purpose. The purpose is to help the students to check whether the exam preparedness of them is up to the mark or not because you all have worked very hard throughout the year but throughout the year we have done so many kind of questions but before the exams because of shortage of time it is not possible for anybody to revise each and everything that has been done throughout the year so here there are certain specific questions which are belonging to a category called one time practice kind of questions which you must do you must revise before entering the examination hall so here is a collection of such specific questions the specific question means one time practice question means you need one time practice because there are certain things in the solution of these questions that you may be stuck up if you haven't revised it so here we are trying to help the students to give them specific few number of questions which if they watch these questions before entering the exams that will finally help them and which will finally help them that they are not stuck up in any kind of questions Solution of question number 4 starts over here. It's a very common type of and a very easy going kind of a question but many times I had seen in my experience, teaching experience that students still commit such mistakes because they are not acquainted with the algebraic formulas. For example, in this case, this will in the form of a cube plus 1 upon a cube. So in the form of a cube plus b cube, so it is a plus b into a square plus b square minus 1 this identity you should not forget this is a must so student I don't know for what reason but they always commit mistake in this kind of transformations so let's start x to the so all I require in the making of x cube plus 1 upon x cube so it will be x plus 1 upon x into x square plus 1 upon x square minus 1. So I already possess the value of this one. This is how much? 34. But I do not have the value of x plus 1 upon x. So I have to calculate that value. So how could I get that? x square plus 1 upon x square equal to 34. So this could be transformed in some way x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 2 you check it if you expand this how much you get x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 so that 2 and minus 2 got cancelled so you get the previous step so we are okay with this so it is x plus 1 upon x whole square is equals to 36 so x plus 1 upon x is always equals to plus minus 6 never forget to write plus and minus 6 Many students what they do, they write only plus 6. So teachers can cut marks for that also. Because you are getting two different values of x plus 1 upon x. So here is my final answer. x plus 1 upon x cube is equals to, this has come out to be as plus and minus 6. And here it is how much? 34 minus 1. So the answer is plus minus 6 into 33. So the answer is plus minus 198 so your answer can land up as either this or minus 198 I am providing you both the options I am providing you both the options because both are correct but from class 9 point of view most of the occasions they are providing in your books the answer as plus 198 but student may 
have some doubt why not it is 198 minus 198 so you can also still write no teacher will cut marks for this they will appreciate this right so this is the end of question number four solution so this is the solution of question number five if the bisectors of the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral so let us first of all draw a quadrilateral like this uh, this is a circle and this one is a quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral means all the four vertices lie on the circumference of the circle this is a b c d okay now what has been told in this question that you take any opposite vertex like i had taken angle b and angle d as the opposite vertex now its angle bisector if i draw the angle bisector of angle d it will reach a point say q and if i draw the ang this angle 1 and angle 2 are equal and if i draw the angle bisector of angle b so here also angle 3 is equals to angle 4 so it has also intersected the it has also intersected the circle at some point at some point so called as d so you note that d you can just take it some other point call it as p okay now one very small construction work you need to do and that will be to join pd and here join pc now what you need to prove in this particular question that is to be kept in mind this is a very tricky kind of a question if you do not watch this question carefully in practice then you will be lost somewhere to prove that was what was to be proved that uh, pq is the diameter of the circle pq pq is the diameter of the circle this is the diameter you have to prove that this is a diameter to prove that pq is a diameter this is we have to prove so the proof is not very lengthy you only you need to understand this see in the proof part angle 1 equal to angle 2 angle 3 equal to angle 4 why because it has been given okay agreed all of you angle 1 equal to 2 it is already told that dq is a bisector of angle d and the opposite angle bisector of angle d is opposite is angle b so its bisector is bp so wherever they intersect the circle at their circumference upon joining them that must be the diameter this is what we need to prove now here i take this one is angle 5 now all you can see that angle 3 is equal to angle 5 why angles on the same segment of a circle are equal so angle 3 is equal to 5 now if you combine this all entire result what you get then see angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degree why cyclic quadrilateral property cyclic property okay now you divide by 2 on both the sides so it is half angle B plus half angle D is equal to 90 degree now what about half angle B for half angle B I can take it as angle 3 for half angle D I can take it as angle 2 so 2 plus 3 equal to 90 degree okay but right now we have proved that angle 3 is equals to angle 5 so in place of 3 what I can write over here I can write in place of 3 as angle 5 so 5 plus 2 equal to 90 degree if 5 plus 2 is 90 degree my goodness what this value is observe it carefully look on to this angle 2 plus 5 and that 2 is coming out to be as 90 now you, you know that angle 2 plus 5 if it is 90 so please observe carefully this triangle is having a 90 degree 
so that itself proves everything what it proves that if this angle is 90 degree so angle in a semicircle is a right angle this is the property of a circle therefore pq is the diameter of the circle because pq is a chord and any chord if it subtends an angle 90 degree at the circumference that chord has to be diameter of the circle okay understood please take time to understand once again this is a chord if any chord subtends an angle 90 degree at the circumference that chord must be diameter because angle in a semicircle is a angle in a semicircle is a right angle okay so this will end question number five this is the concluding question of the video first video lecture session question number sixth this is one of the star rated question it's a one time must practice kind of a question if you do not do these questions at home once in the exam hall you may be stuck up maybe that you are able to solve but you will land up with solution with a lot of lot of times that you have taken and that will finally help not help you to deal with the section c and d of your final term paper so let's move it left hand side very simple 3.1 minus root 0.93 divided by root so you have known there is a process in mathematics that you cannot retain irrational numbers at the denominator you have to multiply and divide with a conjugate so it is something like this so it is a minus b into a minus b so it is a minus b whole square so it is 3.1 minus root 0.93 whole square divided by a plus b into a minus b is how much a square minus b square so it will end up with 3.1 minus 0.93 because root 3.1 whole square is three, only 3.1 now because this is a minus b whole square so this square of root 3.1 will be 3.1 plus square of root 0.93 will be 0.93 minus 2ab 2 into a into b because both of them are having rooted signs so they can be under common shelter or rootable expression 3.1 minus 0.93 will give us how much 2.17 uh, okay now 3.1 plus 0.93 is going to give us 4.03 minus 2 into 3.1 into you can split this just by writing 3.1 into again something like 0.3 you multiply 3.1 with 3.1 with 0.3 how much you get 3 ones are 3 3 threes are 9 then 1 3 what is that value sorry it is 0 and again 0 so it is 9 3 yes it gives you the same value right so here again it is 2.17 so what advantage you have got that here also you have found root 3.1 and root 3.1 so this is going to help us in the manner it is 4.03 minus root 3.1 into root 3.1 is 3.1 into 2 2 into 3.1 and then further it is into 0.3 divided by 2.17 okay now here it is 4.03 minus 6.2 into 0.3 so you can put it this way divided by 2.17 so it will land up something like this 6.2 into you multiply inside with 10 and divide with 10 what do you get root 30 divided by 10 divided by 2.17 so finally you can take LCM 10 so what is that 40.3 minus 6.2 
into root 30 divided by 10 into 2 that is 21.7 so again you can have something common like uh, 3.1 you can keep common so 3.1 into uh, 13 3.1 into 13 3.1 into 13 is how much let us find it out 3 1 0 3 9 0 1 3 it is how much 40.3 isn't it so it is 3.1 into 13 is 40.3 minus it will be how much right here 2 into root 30 divided by 21.7 so 20 this will cancel it by 7 so left over with 13 minus 2 into root 30 divided by 7 so this is finally 13 upon 7 minus 2 upon 7 into root 30. So here finally the concluding one. So it is 13 upon 7 plus of minus 2 upon 7 times of root 30 is equals to how much was the RHS part it was P plus Q into root 30 so the P portion is what 13 by 7 so the value of P is 13 by 7 and the value of Q is how much let's see Q is how much minus 2 by 7 so Q is equals to minus 2 by 7 Please give a little attention for this question because this is a very tricky one once you need to have a practice otherwise in your exam you will be stuck up you will be stuck up so this was the end of the video solution of question number six thank you